guys, the power supply came in today for the next build. It's a OCZ Fatality Series and the 700 watt, it's the non-modular version. Um, this is going to fit the scheme of the build pretty well. And uh, there's a couple different reasons I got this power supply. Um, it, like most of the higher end power supplies, it's SLI and Crossfire compatible, it's 80 plus certified. Uh, it's won over 12 different awards and uses the same internal components as some of the, uh, I believe, like the 1000 watt Mod Extreme Edition. Um, it's single rail, so it's going to be pretty nice for overclocking, good clean power. And I believe on that, uh, the plus 12 volt, you're looking at something like 56 amps, so it's got pretty good kick to it. Um, packaging overall looks pretty good. Did a good job of putting that together. It looks appealing. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and get this thing opened up and see what it looks like. looks like a uh, user manual covers all the uh, troubleshooting and whatnot, all the, the know-hows and need-tos. Looks like it's fairly well packaged. Power cord. Actually quite a bit heavier than I expected. Uh, this power supply, one of the other big advantages that I liked about it was the uh, silent cooling technology that they use. This power supply does go off of the basis of it will cool down according to load or according to temperature. And uh, I would have preferred a 140 millimeter fan, but in all honesty, all this power supply is going to have to do is keep itself cool. It's not going to, the case isn't going to be dependent on, you know, airflow from the power supply. So the 120 mil. 120 millimeter fan should be more than efficient. All right, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to go ahead and stick with this. The uh, red sleeving actually looks really good. Um, as far as connections go, that's pretty nice. We got the two uh, six to eight pins there for PCI Express, which is nice. That'll work for bigger and higher end graphics cards. Um, Got your 20, 24 pin connector, uh, four or eight pin for your uh, motherboard or for your CPU connection there for your power, which is also kind of nice. I know some of them don't come with that, but motherboard I'm going to be using is going to be an eight pin, so that works out perfect. Um, we have an abundance of PCI and Molex connections here which is nice. Uh, the other thing, it does have, the cables are long, so you'll, you'd be able to use this without any worries in a full tower case with a bottom mounted PSU. Um, all in all, yeah, this is, I'd say it's definitely a good buy. I see some cables here that, you know, some of the ones that jump off and bridge that aren't uh, completely sleeved, but I'm going to go ahead, I'll take care of those and dress them up. I know a lot of people are real big on modular which, yeah, modular is nice, especially when you're doing cable management, you only have to use what you need. But one of the main reasons I decided not to go with modular on this is anybody that's dealt with electronics for any length of time can tell you the more places you have connections, the more problems that can occur. You're going to lose voltage through connections. You're going to lose wattage through connections. Connections over time can become loose, cause problems down the road. I'm not saying they're terrible or not to use them, but as a matter of preference for this, I went with non-modular. And uh, I'm going to do all the cable management, so it's really really not going to matter convenience-wise for me anyways, because I'm going to go overboard like I usually do. But, uh, well, I think what I'll do next is, it's, well, here, we'll go off, 
show you what the rest of the power supply looks like. It has a fatality, actually laser cut into the side. That should illuminate well whenever this kicks in. This fan is red LED. I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug this thing in and uh, bypass everything on here and make sure that it works and give you guys an idea of what it looks like whenever it's lit up. So, uh, I'll be back in one second. All right, guys, we got it bypassed and we got it plugged in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kill some lights here real quick so you guys can get a better look of what it looks like. A little bit less lighting. Yeah, it's got a real nice deep red to it. That uh, probably doesn't look near as good in, in the camera, but yeah, that... I'd have to say that looks pretty good, the glowing fatality logo. I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, this thing is quiet. Uh, you cannot hear this thing run and it's pushing a real good amount of air through the back. Actually right now I can hear my other computer tower and the refrigerator running well over the top of this thing. It's making no noise. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. And so far, I'm giving this thing a 5 out of 5. So, uh, we'll go ahead. We'll turn some lights back on. Go over a couple more things. And then we'll uh, wrap this up. Be back in one second. Alright, guys. So, uh, if you have any questions concerning this power supply or any of its ratings feel free to uh, go ahead and post a comment or contact me privately but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my stamp of approval on this we're gonna give it five out of five it's uh, definitely I mean all around looks wise I'd, I'd give it a, a seven out of five and uh, you know options and performance as of right now we're giving it a five out of five we'll give you a little bit better review once we get it in the case and you know, run some of the tests, but this thing tested awesome on pretty much everything I've seen on the online reviews, and we'll get a little bit more. But I am actually really impressed with the uh, with the sleeving that's on there. It has more of a blood red color to it than it does, uh, you know, just a regular red. That's going to tie in real well with the theme that I'm using. And uh, so, uh, yeah, five out of five, you guys. Stay tuned for some more videos. I got a couple more reviews coming up, and. Uh, here in the next few days, probably over this weekend, I'm going to start working on the case, and I've already decided on a name for this build. And, uh, you know, hope to see you then. Take care, guys. Bye.